What's up everyone, the Bob and Daddy here, and welcome back to another video. I have some footage in the background of a variety of games, like League of Legends, Overwatch, and many more that I've been playing recently. There will be another episode of My Gaming Adventures next week, where I play Overwatch with the Celestial Diva skin. Actually, you may be seeing some footage of that in the background, so I'll be skipping that and filming the Halloween event that should be out this Wednesday or tomorrow if you're in Australia. Looking forward to the new skins for D.Va and Winston as well. I mean, they look amazing. I've just been mostly focused on League of Legends because it's really fun. Also interesting on how much the game has evolved over the years, and the new characters that came out this year, Set and Yonin, have already become among my most favourites in the game. Nowadays, usually when I get back from work or when I have a lot of free time on my hands, I like to turn on my PC and play a couple of games and matches. My work schedule isn't as strict as I work when I get called in, but that's not to say I put games as my number one priority. So this is where I want to talk about a topic that, not too long ago, triggered a lot of gamers and other people in the gaming industry. Pro gamers, YouTube gamers, YouTube geeks, and even big names like PewDiePie. Now, if the name Joe Rogan doesn't ring a bell to anyone, Joe Rogan is an MMA commentator who's also a podcast host and has had conversations with celebrities and other people in their respective fields. About a couple of months ago, JR got backlash for what he said about video games. I'll play the clip right now. Video games are a real problem. They're a real problem. You know why? Because they're fun. fun. And you don't, yeah, well, I'm, I have a real problem with them. And you, you, you do them and they're real exciting, but you don't get anywhere. Right. This is as far as I'm going to show, but you can look it up on YouTube to see the whole thing. So Joe basically said that video games are a problem because they're fun. It's exciting, but you don't get anywhere. And then he made a comparison between games and martial arts, where martial arts, you get better as you make progress. And as you progress, you get a black belt. And once you hit a certain level of black belt, you can start a living running a dojo. Whereas video games, you could still be the same person years from now on, playing that one game over and over again, while waiting for another game or next-gen consoles to be announced, but you're wasting time. It is kind of strange to hear from someone that's into Quake, but I think he's not right, but he's not wrong either. Are video games a waste of time? Of course not. Just as long as you don't put it on top of the to-do list over matters that are more important, like your family, your friends, your job, your career, and your health as well. Now, without breaking down into every detail, here is my list of pros and cons of video games. The pros of video games are you can make a living in the gaming industry. You like writing? You're a writer. You like drawing? You're a video game artist. You like acting? Do voiceover. Video games can be educational in a certain way. It's highly fun and entertaining, helps with mental stability, and it can even change and save lives. Now, the cons of video games are they're too fun. It's not that simple to stop and take a break. It's easily addictive if you play too long. It also requires you to be interactive most of the time. I'm not sure if it's the right meaning, but let's say if you want the story to progress further, you have to keep playing. Not every game is for everybody. And most of all, it can really kill a lot of your time for more important matters. So, to play games or not to play games? Honestly, if you were to ask me that question, I would encourage you to do so. Like, video games helped me in certain ways. Besides watching martial arts movies, video games is what inspired me to become an actor. So I can learn how to play, act, and even train like the characters who I've always wanted to be like. If you don't want to play games, don't play games. If you want to play games, play games. Go for it. Don't be afraid. But remember, everything in moderation, and don't forget what's more important to you in life. So this is my 5 cents on the matter. I would like you guys to share your thoughts with me and what you think of the matter. And if you have seen this video and enjoyed it, leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't like it, then you have every right to dislike it. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'm the Bobinator, and I'll be back.